talk about sets and reps next. So, reps, repetitions, how many times do you do a weight? So for example, on the, on the squats I was saying like five reps, three reps, and you all kind of got that many, so you go up and down three times. Okay, that's, uh, that's a rep, up and down at once. Sets then become how many times you repeat the repetition. So if I said five sets of five, or five by five, I'm saying five sets of five repetitions. So you do five repetitions, put the bar back in, chill out and rest for a while, and then repeat it four more times for five in total. And that's what we're going to say on the squats and on the rows. So we're going to say five by five, five by five. There's reasons for this as well, okay? So the squats we're going five sets of five reps. You do five reps of squats at whatever weight is appropriate. We'll talk about the weight progressions in a second as well. So you can be doing five squats. You'll do five rows. Again, at whatever height is appropriate. So today, for most of you, that's whatever height you're going to set at. And then you're going to repeat that. So in between, like these exercises say, you're probably going to take 30 to 60 seconds. Okay, so you've got like two exercise period. Once you get to five of those done, you'll move on to your P1, P2. At that point then, you want to take a slightly longer break to let yourself recover. So somewhere like two to three minutes. And then again, during the next group, you'll take 30 to 60 seconds, so on and so forth, before moving to the plank. Two things to make note of here. The deadlift, it's 5.3. The reason it's 5.3 is because they're quite technically demanding. The deadlift is quite a difficult maneuver to get down. And if you start to think about it, if you start to get bogged down or confused, technique breaks down and then like back health and stuff is put around. <coughs> so the idea is to practice it, to treat it as a skill movement, not to worry about how much weight you're lifting. Just pick up something again, like we said earlier, that you could do any day of the week. If you didn't have to worry about it, if you're straight out of bed, if your car broken down, if your boyfriend had broken up with you, if your dog had run off with your cat, any of that bullshit, okay? The push-ups are slightly higher reps, so between eight and twelve reps. And the reason I'm saying between eight and twelve reps is because you need one practice set. So, girls in general tend to have much stronger lower bodies proportionally than upper bodies, and they tend to learn movements from the lower body a lot easier than guys do. So, good work on that. <laughs> but then on the plus side, it means upper body strength is usually limited, and it usually takes a bit longer to develop. So you spend a bit more time on that. So now you've got deadlifts and push-ups, and then at the end, you've got a plank. And I've got a five by question mark. Because the question mark is, how long can you hold it for? Everyone's going to have a different time limit on this. And it's how long can you hold a good one for, and not just any old plank. Okay? It has to be a good, solid, technically perfect plank. And when you're training, you never want to go right past the limited capacity. So you'd never want to leave the gym absolutely ruined, absolutely fecked, or really, really tired of fatigue, because that's when injuries start to happen, and that's when overtraining starts to accumulate. So what you're going to do is take about 75% of whatever you can do. So if you can hold a plank for 40 seconds, Maths are too hard now. If you can hold the plank for 60 seconds, about 45 seconds is what you hold it for. Then you'll break for about the same between 30 and 60 seconds. 45 seconds of planking, 30 to 60 second break, repeat it for five rounds. Make sense? Sweet. So that would be day one. Day two then becomes pretty much the exact same format. So you're doing five sets of five. I'm going to change this to five sets of five today. We're going to stay 5, 6, 5 on the squats. We're going to go a little bit higher on the rows. And then we're only going to go for 10 to 15 seconds on that work AC plank because, as you saw, it gets quite hard quite quickly. Now, the reps have gone down. I just told you you need to practice some more. Why the hell have I done that? Here's why. Again, the first bit of the session is the hardest bit. The second bit's a little bit easier, and then you've got your core at the end. So again, this part of the session is going to be the hard part. So how do you make your push-ups harder? Like we said earlier, you either change the level you're going down to. So instead of going to three max, you go to two. Or you can go down slower, or you can do more reps. So the variation we're doing now is making it more strength-based. So having to push further or push slower. Same idea, just a different stimulus. And the important part to note with this as well is when you're doing a deadlift, 
your push ups going to be recovering, so your upper body is recovering. When you're doing your push ups, the muscles responsible for your deadlift is recovering. All things being equal, okay, strictly. You could go down the rabbit hole on that, but we won't. Then you're going to do some squats and then you're going to do some rows afterwards. With the squats, <coughs> you can go barbell again or you can hold a dumbbell this time. You can hold a kettlebell. There's a million and one squat variations you could use. But you know, if, if boredom isn't a factor, if you want to just do some more barbell squats, have at it, do some more barbell squats. It'll get you to your goals faster. And then at the end, you're just going to do the RKC plank for like five sec or five sets, uh, 10 to 15 seconds. Again, take between 30 and 60 seconds recovery. Can you tell me what that one was? It's where we go down with your elbows. And it's. Oh, yeah. Okay. Now, and again, breathing is the most important part of it. 